Okay, another interesting shootout here. Um, on the left, we've got an Apple uh, MacBook Air with an M2 processor. And on the right, we've got a uh, Lenovo Yoga um, Slim 7X with the Snapdragon X Elite processor. Um, the MacBook Air has 8 gigs of RAM. Um, the Yoga has 32 gigs of RAM. So a bit of an advantage there for the Yoga, you might think. Uh, but of course, FL Studio is native to um, Apple and uh, the ARM-based Yoga with the Snapdragon um, is going to have you emulate uh, the x86. So it's going to be interesting to see how we go. Um, so without further ado, let's kick them off. Um, the first figure I give you will be uh, the Apple MacBook Pro on the left. The second figure will be obviously the Yoga. And they're basically Image Line's idea of processing percentage. Um, in use. Now, this isn't a particularly scientific study, but it's more of a real world um, to give an idea or to give anyone an idea who watches this series of videos roughly what sort of performance they can expect from different devices. So, um, different processors, different ages of laptops, uh, different uh, operating systems, pitched against each other. As I say, not a particularly scientific way, but um, quite a useful way, I think. Um, and that's me blabbing. <laughs> Let's get stuck in um, and see how we get on. So straight off the blocks, we've got 23% for the MacBook Air against 13%, 14% uh, for the Yoga. So Yoga ahead at the moment. 20% now for the uh, MacBook Air versus 14%. 40% uh, of processing power for the Yoga, so the um, emulation working extremely well actually, which we did find earlier with the uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop 7, which also has the same processor, although uh, I think the one I had had um, less RAM, 16 gigs of RAM, as opposed to 32 gigs of RAM, which should give this one a little bit of an advantage, although I don't think this track is particularly um, heavy on processing, it is quite dynamic. Um, okay, 19% versus 14%. We're starting to move into the faster section of the music. Um, so the processing overhead is going to go up. 24% um, on the left versus 22%. So they're getting closer together. That's interesting. 23% now against 22% for the yoga. 24% against 25% for the yoga. So the yoga got hit by that sudden uh, demand of resources, although still having to only use 25% uh, of its resources, processing power-wise. Uh, okay, 26% on the left versus 27% on the right. So very evenly matched, 27% versus 29%. 26 versus 28. Uh, 30 versus 30. Uh, 27 versus 27. Pretty much even Stevens, it has to be said. It may be uh, that uh, the Yoga has a slight advantage over the um, previously tested Surface Laptop 7 because it does have extra memory to play with. 29 versus 28. Uh, so let's stop it there. I think we're close enough. One percentage here or there in either direction at various times suggests to me that they're pretty much evenly matched. So um, the MacBook putting in a, a great performance, the MacBook. Uh, what, a couple of years old now? Um, you have to check on that. I think I, I looked it up before my last video. I wasn't quite sure. The M2, we're on the M4 now. So, um, yeah, I think a couple of years ago. The uh, Yoga, obviously, bang up to date with the Snapdragon X um, processor. Price-wise, I think this Yoga configuration was around about £1,300. And I'm afraid, I don't know the uh, original price of the M2, but second-hand second -hand wise, you can pick up one like this uh, with 8 gigs of RAM and uh, an M2 processor, I think for around about £600. Um, so you pay some money, takes your choice. Uh, if you like the touch screen and you're happy with performance and you want um, the latest uh, latest gizmos, because the of course the Yoga has um, the uh, AI chip. Um, name escapes me now, it does have a, its own moniker. Um, so it does support things like um, the recall feature and uh, various processing um, 
is done on the AI processor or the AI part of the processor as opposed to the main um, part of the processor. Anyway, I am blabbering again. This is the idea of this is to test one against the other. If you've enjoyed it, then give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then maybe subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.